Hello and welcome to the 45th tutorial in the Codecast 2 DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to pop a scene in the previous tutorial we looked at how to push a scene pushing a scene is useful if you're in a game and you press the pause button you don't want to have to restart the game you was on you'll just so basically you push a scene on which will be the pause scene for example and then once you're done with that if you press the resume button you would pop that scene so you just go back to the other scene also you'll probably want to pop scenes as well in other situations so this tutorial scene you've done tutorial 44 you have them there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial so i'm just going to go and open up tutorial 34 I mean 44, I think I said 34 then. And once it's loaded, instead of just going into the code, I'm just going to run it and show you what we have. I'm going to have a menu with a play button. When you click play, it will take you to this new scene that we created in the previous tutorial. Actually, it was in a tutorial, a couple of tutorials ago, in creating and setting up a scene and which has a sprite. Click play. When I click play, it will push the other scene on. This is the new scene. The previous scene was the My App. There's no way of getting back to it. So first of all, we want to do that. So you want to go to the new scene.js. I'm going to comment out this sprite. Create a menu item. So var menu un underscore item underscore one equals cc dot menu item font dot create open close bracket semicolon inside first we specify what we want the menu item to say so I'm going to say go back now we have to specify the actual callback function so this dot back this isn't created at the moment we'll create that this in a second next we want to specify the target which is this and then we want to create the menu so var menu equals cc dot menu dot create open bracket we specify the actual menu item we just have the one so it's menu item underscore one then leave it with semicolon now we're just going to align the item vertically so menu dot align item vertically now we have to just add this menu with a child this dot add child and then specify menu semicolon that's it we just now need to create a back function so do back colon function open close bracket curly braces in here we want to do director dot pop scene open close bracket semicolon but we also want to do initialized new scene equals false and the reason is because pop the scene actually gets rid of that particular scene we want it to be set to initialized false because if we go back to the screen again which the user might pause the game again it's more than possible we want the scene to actually initiate and exist but first of all i will actually comment out this line i want to demonstrate what happens or the issue that occurs without having that line of code But first of all, let's just do a bit of code formatting. This is so annoying. I did discover recently that if you change the actual code formatting style to something like C, it does do the actual, what's it called, the, um, the line spacing and whatnot a lot better. But the actual coloring of the syntax is terrible. So I've continued to use this, but if any of you know of a better way then let me know so yeah let's just click play okay we click the sprite button I mean the play button oopsie daisy line item it's moaning about this function oh it should be items my bad so click play and there we go if I click go back it will pop this scene click to go back and now the actual my app scene from here is now available but if i click play again nothing appears and this is simply because of this so let's go through the actual flow once it gets into here 
and we click the play button it goes to this scene or it pushes this scene onto the stack so this scene is now halted it's not drawing it's not updating go to the new scene.js it goes on enter is initialized new scene false initially is declared to false yes then it will initialize it etc and then it will do all of this and it will add it and the problem is when I click back it pops the scene so it gets rid of it but this initialized new scene variable is still true so when I go back to the my app scene and I click the play button again and it pushes the scene on because when it goes onto the on end hat it can't get into this because initialized new scene is true it doesn't initialize the actual scene that's an issue but if I remove this line or add this line in click play click go back click play click go back just sorry about that probably just an email click play I mean click go back go back play go back play it works great now and that's it for pushing and popping scenes in the next tutorial we'll be looking at how to actually replace a scene replace a scene is useful if let's say you're on the main menu you click play because the main menu is generally quite static and you'll just be getting rid of that scene and pushing the new scene on which may be the level select screen or a high score screen or a game screen so you'll just replace that scene so it essentially does a pop and a push that essentially is the functionality of the replacing but the replacing is for the next tutorial and thanks for watching